from not appearing on the show for 10 years to making an epic comeback for the season finale. The Blue Blood season 13 finale is going to be a real banger. This time around, they're going all out. And the plot isn't the only thing that's going to be exciting for the finale. The cast is pretty special too, because not one but two old characters are all set to make a comeback and take the Blue Bloods world by storm. But it's not the old days, so it's not a fail. Okay, so maybe I didn't fail, but I kind of wish I did fail. Does that count? Not sure. Not a fail? No. Okay, so I only failed once. Yep, two long absent cast members are being brought back for the season 13 finale. And trust me when I say that the shocking part about their feature is an understatement at best. Their appearances have been long overdue at this point. One of them will even be returning after a 10 year hiatus. That's bound to make the guessing pool slim down, right? But don't worry, I won't let you stew in your misery for too long. The two guys who are returning are, drum roll please, Sammy Gale. The guy will play Nikki Reagan, Boyle, for the first time since season 11, so he'll be back with the crew after two years. But I must confess, I did bury the lead this time. Hey! <laughs> okay, whenever you're ready, Nikki, and the time that you got pulled over for speeding. I was only going 50 miles per hour. In a 20 mile an hour zone. <laughs> Mom, I never knew. The other guy is actually a gal. Yes, folks, Jennifer Esposito is all set to return home after a decade of being away. And the 50 year old actress is itching to revive her character of Jackie Curatola for the first time in a long time. I just got these pictures of a red light camera on the corner of Halston Avenue C at 2045 last night. It's a Subaru Impreza WRX, the same car that your brother described. Now, you guys have no idea how crucial this movie move is for the series. The negotiations dragged on for weeks before CBS could reach an agreement on a deal that would work to renew Blue Bloods. The truth is that the production may be one of the network's most popular shows, but it's also one of the most expensive shows. So there was a real possibility that season 13's season finale could have been a series finale. As a result, the producers probably thought about bringing back a number of familiar faces for the finale. And it may just be the trick that worked. Let's refresh your memories then. Who is Nikki? Reagan Boyle. Well, Gail portrayed Frank Reagan, the sole grandchild of police commissioner Tom Selleck, who was frequently pushed by her liberal ideologies. Nikki finally moved to San Francisco in season 10 after finishing both high school and college throughout the course of the series. When is graduation? Second Saturday in May. I'm not sure what the date is. And what are you going to do after? Party. Uh, I mean next. You mean like get a job. That means that his one appearance in season 11, where we discovered that there was actually a hidden Reagan grandchild named Joe Hill, whose father was Joe Reagan, one of the Reagan siblings who passed away before season one of the series. There's another Reagan grandchild, Jack, who is portrayed by Tony Tarasiano, who, by the way, will also be making his first appearance on the show since the start of season 12. I guess I'll uh, see you around. Actually, you're coming with us. I am? Yeah, it was Dad's idea. Figured it'd help me get settled in, then we'll cruise around campus. This way you know what's what for when you visit on the weekends. For some context, Jack is a college student on the series. Kevin Wade, the showrunner of Blue Bloods, revealed to TV Line that a plan to have Gail return in the season 12 finale was scrapped. But he also provided an explanation as to why she had been written out. He shared that sometimes characters age out, in the sense that Nikki went off to college and then moved to San Francisco. And that made him realize that they don't have the time to tell Nikki stories. Still, he did explain express his hope for her to visit once more, saying that hopefully she'll swing by. But he also noted that she had been written out because it had gone on for too long. And I get that in the real world, you gotta expect it, right? You're gonna be betrayed because it's every man for himself, but this is a college, you know, over values and principles. It was almost as if to say that they should bring her back, at least for a family meal. And perhaps that's what she's coming for in the finale. Blue Bloods is famous for its iconic family dinners anyway, right? Now for the Jackie Curatola recap. Well, due to Detective Danny Reagan, played by Donnie Wahlberg, taking center stage in the first two seasons of Blue Bloods, Jennifer Esposito, who portrayed Detective Jackie Curatola, seemed to take up less space. Half a dozen sites, it's got to be three a day. Three what? Three hundred thousand. Well, 
Although she was an integral element of the series in early season three, Jackie started to appear in fewer episodes. And when Jackie retired from the NYPD, she was finally written off. But that's not all. Apparently, Jennifer shared with the production that she is only available to work on a very restricted part-time schedule, CBS said in a statement at the time. So she was unable to fulfill the requirements of her work as a result, and they sadly had to put her on leave. But they sincerely hope that she will be able to make a comeback in the future because she is an incredibly great actor. And that she is. But again, the story doesn't end here. Esposito responded to the claim on social media, writing, CBS didn't listen to my doctor and I fell on set, which everyone witnessed. Apparently, the doctor cleared her to go back to work after a week off. But CBS implied that she wasn't really sick and that this was all a ruse to earn a raise. Yikes! That's a workplace drama if there ever was one. After the fall, the actress hasn't gone back to work in over two months, and she hasn't even been able to find any other work. That truly is the worst possible behavior. So, Esposito will return after a decade to assist Danny and his current partner, Maria Baez, in their search for a serial murderer, despite the hostility during her departure. Well, that may be an awkward reunion, but a reunion nonetheless. And I'll take it. The main takeaway from all this is Blue Bloods has been renewed. Yep, the enduring police procedural will return to CBS for its 14th season, along with its top production team, led by showrunner Kevin Wade, the cast of the series, including original actors Tom Selleck, Donnie Wahlberg, Bridget Moynihan, and Will Estes are expected to return. The cause of concern was that CBS was pressing for severe budget cutbacks, including 25% for above-the-line personnel, including actors. But the cast being the cute people they are, the performers and producers agreed to wage cuts in order to keep the show running and maintain the livelihoods of hundreds of crew members and other support staff. That sacrifice made the renewal for season 14 possible. But at least we no longer have to worry about the show being canceled. It shall go on as scheduled. Blue Bloods has dominated Friday night since its premiere and remained an important anchor for CBS's winning lineup, stated the president of CBS Entertainment. The Reagans, their law enforcement family, and the dramatic narrative of the series continue to be loved by fans. And those fans are eagerly anticipating another terrific season at the Reagan family dinner table. But that's not all. In terms of total minutes seen, the show is also in the top 10 series on Paramount+. Plus. It also does well on Netflix and is the sixth most watched channel on Pluto TV so far this year. The drama has made money for the firm with good performances on CBS, streaming, and worldwide. But for now, the show is going on yet another hiatus. After the last episode, Smoke and Mirrors aired, fans realized that the promo for the next episode was absent. That only meant one thing, and viewers were not happy happy. Fans vented their anger on social media about the network and the impending break. At one Buckeye Tom, who was furious, tweeted that she was disappointed. Another viewer commented that while she really enjoyed tonight's show, she'll definitely miss it for the next two weeks. And she's looking forward to viewing this season's final episode. Aren't we all? But don't worry, Blue Bloods will finally return on Friday, April 21st, despite a change in the schedule. And we can all resume our merry little lives when everything's right in the world again. That's a wrap on Blue Bloods, and their stars are back for the finale.